got the MX range. I must admit, it's new on me. I've never seen this machine before. What is it? Well, Joe, let's drop down the cover and take a look. So, Joe, what we have here, this is an oil-based wire EDM. Uh, the big difference between water-based E wire EDM and oil-based wire EDM is that the oil base enables us to get a much, much better surface finish uh, when, we, when we're talking about things like carbide, uh, fine tooling, for, for example. And that t surface finish is really directly related uh, to the, the main surface structure where there might be micro-cracking, etc., and is, has, has a direct rep uh, relationship to the lifetime of the tool. And how about the control on this machine? Is it the same as all the other machines? So, same control throughout. Uh, so we maintain the, uh, the Mitsubishi standard, uh, tubular drives. Here though, we have, we've got the cooling all the way through the machine casting, four-sided table. Uh, we have the uh, rise and fall door that we've seen on all the other machines. So it's space saving, uh, very ergonomic, easy loading. So you've mentioned carbide tool manufacturers. How about the watch industry? Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. So with the watchmaking industry, uh, some of the fine details they're looking for there means that the kind of wires we're using, we're going below 50 micron wire, maybe 30 micron wire, for example. Uh, and the big key with oil is the spark is actually a lot, a lot smaller. So what we can do is really get the corner radii detail right down to a minimum. So if the spark's smaller, does that mean productivity is reduced? Yeah, so the, one of the big uh, downfalls historically with oil is the speed of the cut. Uh, historically, it's been slow not only on the rough cut, but also on the skim cuts. So here you would definitely see on a rough cut machine in a slower speed compared to water. But the technology that Mitsubishi have worked on here on the skim cuts means that when we're looking at doing six, seven, eight, nine cuts, we can gain that time back. Uh, because of the way that the, the uh, surface finish, the oil uh, leaves behind, there's less work for the next cuts to do. And then when we compare it to the water-based machines, the time is very, very similar. So we've talked about the carbide and watchmaking industries, but who else is likely to buy this machine? So it may not be for the general subcontractor. We have other machines perhaps in the range for that. But when we look at medical, trying to get into very small wire detail, uh, uh, jewellery, uh, electronics industry, uh, those are the, perhaps the kind of industries that this machine is, is aimed at. So anyone who's really looking to push those boundaries again? Yeah, and if they want to up, up the game and get better tool life, etc. Um, and they may have been using conventional water-based uh, uh, EDM um, and m maybe even getting very good results, but they want to push it even further with a better surface finish and a better tool life, this could be the way to go. So HK Technologies and Mitsubishi, you're really pushing the boundaries yet again with this machine? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, the backing that we, we get from uh, Mitsubishi and, uh, and uh, new, new products come into the market, e each time we're seeing some, something new. And with 64,000 machines sold worldwide, uh, I think that just says it all.